Hey, what's going on YouTube? Crow Sama here. And first and foremost, before I actually get into uh, the video, I do want to say that I'm not in Japan currently. I'm away over in the States in Virginia. So I am not, you know, at my normal hub or even my normal computer. I'm at my little, you know, my little laptop. So quality may be iffy, sound might not be all there, but I'm going to do my best and try and still put out some quality content for you guys uh, while I'm away for about two months. And huddled up in a hotel so kind of sucks but it is what it is so anyways i do want to get into analysis video and i really want to get to the e-free custom uh, i really wanted to get this video done like you know days ago however just you know traveling and everything kind of got caught up so um hey what better time than i guess now uh <laughs> right before it actually leaves the shop so um yeah e-free custom man this is a monster of a suit I, I love it a lot. Um, I know it's not like the best thing ever, but in terms of just like looks, this is a beautiful looking suit. One of my favorite Xeon suits to date. Um, it just has everything. It has just style, it has beautiful color. Um, it, it's really just a, a really good looking suit. Um, now the pilot for this suit, I know it's like N Numbus. He is actually not in this game. So unfortunately you don't have the original pilot for this suit. But that's okay, we can find a good fighter for this suit. Uh, but let's just go ahead and jump right into the analysis of each individual part. Alright, so we're going to take a look at the head. Now you already noticed I bought the gold head. And the reason being is because it is going to have the exam system. So much like the Blue Destiny, it's... I don't know, man. I just really love, um, you know, when you get these, like, you know, welfare, uh, hyper mode, you know, uh, parts. It's something that's just really good because not everyone can afford a Trans Am from a Dynamis or an Exia. So, uh, it's kind of like the next best thing. But activate the anti-new type OS exam system. And it's going to raise your speed by 20% and your melee attack by uh, 39%. So, pretty good. And you can pretty much knock it out, you know, 12 seconds. Um, it's something that's really good because you can, you know, instantly do this. Or, not instantly do this, but... Um, you can do it fairly quickly, and you can max this out, so you get the you know best effects uh, that you could possibly get. Now everything else is looking good. The Xeon is pretty good, um, although, yeah, it, Xeon's kind of what you're expecting, but I do prefer something else. You know, maybe close combat would have been really good, but you know, you was probably gonna get Xeon. Uh, it just doesn't really match up to the style of what this suit's gonna be doing. But hey, some defense is not bad. And of course, you're going to get that four desert. Me personally, don't really care about the, um, you know, the arena effects, like the, the increases. But hey, it, it could be good if you're doing a multi-mission and you just know you're going to be in the desert. Or even for the, um, the different, you know, scenarios and the event missions. And I also want to mention that the shot attack is not too bad on this mobile suit. 1400 is pretty good. All right, now take a look at the chest. So uh, once again, you're going to have the Xeon and four desert. The stats are... Eh, kind of like Luster, but you are going to have some decent shot defense, and the armor uh, is really not that great. Now then you're going to have in-fighter job, buff EX skill effect up 15%. So uh, let's say, you know, because uh, I don't think awakenings count as buffs, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check, but I'm, I'm not too uh, certain that the awakenings are actually counted as a buff. Could be wrong. But anything that's like the you know, age one normal or even the uh, sumo, the tall geese head, uh, things of that nature, you know, when you get that buff, increasing the effect to 15% of that set amount. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's actually really good because you know if you're an end fighter, you're gonna want as much of an increase of your attack as possible. Now we're taking a look at the arms. 2,000. It's okay. It's kind of you know me mediocre in a way. Uh, but yeah, same word tags. Taking a look at the ex skill though. So you're going to have a physical shot. Uh, you're probably never going to try and increase this. I mean, your piercing is A-, minus, which is, you know, really good. Power is going to be D, which is, you know, standard for something like this. Um, now you're going to have launch grenades from your forearm. You can move while firing. It's something that you've seen already before. Uh, obviously, first time, zero seconds, so you can just do this as soon as the match starts. Uh, but it's going to have a hefty cooldown time whenever you run out of those rounds. Um, this is just something good to window down damage or even to kind of like, you know, stagger your enemy. But for the most part, if I'm going to go for a melee build, I don't want any sort of, you know, shot attacks or beam attack, like uh, beam uh, shot attacks. I'd rather just keep my stuff melee and or keep my stuff shot. But I know there's some people that prefer the mixed builds, which is fine. 
And next we're gonna have is just the legs. So stats aren't really looking that great, but the word tags is looking pretty good with that close combat. So, hey, that's actually a good step in the right direction. And you're gonna have the uh, leg missile pods. So this is not like the arms. Uh, this one just shoots, you know, missiles and that's pretty much it and you cool down. Uh, it's pretty fast in the beginning, but you know, it's, it's just a shot attack. Like not really too impressive, especially for legs. I mean, this could have been a trait, but obviously it has missile pods and legs. So they're going to utilize it for EX skills. And once again, they're going to have the same thing they do all the time, which gets me super upset, is they mount the weapon on the backpack. And I don't like that. I really, really, really don't like that. Um, I, I, I just really wish they would change it. We have the weapons, so there should be no need. That backpack could not, like, I'm, I'm kind of going on a, on a tangent, but that backpack could have been a trait. I just don't get why they can't understand hey, we're giving you the weapons already, so there's no need to already have the weapons on the backpack. Now, you can keep that style, like, you know, if you switch over to a shot weapon, then you can have you can show the uh, weapons mounted on the backpack. I'm fine with that, but don't make that a permanent thing and it's an EX skill. I don't know. Personally, don't agree with it. Uh, stats are very meh, and the EX skill, is it worthwhile? Well, we'll take a look, but I mean, the power is A, uh, well, sorry, power is D, piercing is going to be A, physical melee, so it could be really good, but I mean, my hopes aren't really that high. And then we're going to have the heat sabers, so it's going to be dual sabers, really good, um, probably something I might just go ahead and grab the gold on, because the melee attack for this is not bad. Uh, obviously, right now, we, the highest thing we have is the Nobel Gundam's uh, beam whip. And that is a whopping 4K. And most other like top tier weapons are about 3,600. So I don't I don't think this is a horrible weapon. Um, but it, it's you know it's decent. Um, let's look at the parts trait. So while Xeon uh, strong melee crit rate boost is 17%. I'm still not a fan of the strong melee oriented uh, traits. I, I, if it was just melee crit rate boost to 17%, this would be significantly better. I would absolutely love it. Uh, but unfortunately, it is only on that strong attack, so to me, that, that's just not selling it. Um, now, you are going to have close combat once again for a word tag. And if you just look at all the word tags, you know, with just these parts right here, uh, you are going to have Zeon activated, and close combat is only going to need two more, so if you are going to want a completed E-Freak custom as your main mobile suit, you are going to have to pick up just two more close combats. Uh, and also, this thing is very, you know, leaning towards end fighter so we're also going to have to choose an end fighter okay so here's what i went with the actual range weapon the shield and the pilot so i went with the 57 millimeter high energy rifle uh what this is going to give me is that with speed attribute which i am uh ex skill power boosted 22 percent so i think that's a really good weapon you get some extra little power behind your ex skill hey you know win win and then you're going to have the GN shield. Honestly, I just chose it because it's my best shield and it has a close combat, so I wanted to activate it. Uh, but when armor is 40% or more, EX skill damage output, you know, boosted by 12. It's not really great, but hey, it actually, you know, is kind of tethered to this suit, so it is going to do something. So Duo Maxwell is going to be an end fighter with, you know, pretty much the speed attribute uh, trait. 8% chance to not recoil. Not really, I don't know. To me, that's not really uh, applicable here, but it is what it is. So, Duo Maxwell is going to be a very strong end fighter, and he's going to have the last close combat, so we can activate that. And this is just going to be a really good uh, end fighter suit all around. Um, but obviously, you probably going to want to change some parts here and there just to make your E-Free a little bit better in combat. So, let's take a look at how these weapons are going to be looking, and also how this EX skills are going to look. Alright, so jumping directly into it, let's take a look. So, you can just kind of do the arm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much just a one shot. Of... Alright, and leg missiles. So, that's pretty good. You did some pretty good damage. Alright. Just going to. Well, we can do some uh, regular melee attacks. So, it looks really good. I love it. Oh, man, the animation is beautiful in this. Love it. And there's another E free, yay! So let's go exam mode. Ooh boy! Oh, oh, oh! They done messed up. Oh, they done messed up. Okay, wait, hold on. I can't. Stop! Stop! <laughs> All right, those leg mis missiles came in clutch. Um, but yeah.
but yeah, I mean, it was okay. Okay, and here is going to be the heat rush. Woo! That was pretty good. So in conclusion, the E-Freak Custom is actually a really decent suit. Um, it's not a great suit, but it is a really decent suit. Um, I'm, I'm still getting tired of all these, you know, completed suits having more than three EX skills. I wish they would keep it at three or even under three. I'll be happy with that. Uh, but the, the head on this suit, you need a gold. That, that's an amazing, amazing uh, awakening skill. So 39% melee, you get the 20% on the speed. It's great. It's really, really good for melee-oriented builds. Um, it only sucks that it's the head part and not anything else because, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, you're going to have to replace the tall geese, so you're going to have to replace um, the sumo or the age two, oh, the age one. So one of those is going to have to go if you already had a buff head, um, but it kind of is what it is. Now, in terms of anything else that's going to be gold, maybe the blades, but everything else you could really just keep as is. Um, obviously this is like your favorite suit then hey go ahead and purple gold whatever you want to do to it um, but I think the EX skills are fairly lackluster um, the leg pods are good for you know uh, like crowd control some like AOE um, that's pretty much it I mean you got crowd con crowd control with the leg EX skill uh, the backpack is just kind of okay but you can really get staggered out of it and then the uh, the arms if you just want some extra little damage here and there, that's fine. But this is a melee build. Uh, getting that shot attack is not going to be uh, that great. So I would just keep it melee oriented. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. Beautiful suit and word tags. You can play around with it. But for the most part, you're probably going to be stuck with the close combat and Xeon. I don't really see you straying away from that unless you do some really, really good mix and matching and still keeping it e freet But hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing you all in the next build or the next analysis video or whatever video i conjure up next but hey i'll be seeing you guys later bye bye